The 2019 Business of the Year. Congratulations, RBB. It is so much easier when they've got you on video than standing up here. <laughs> I wanted to mention just briefly, uh, true story, today's my birthday. <laughs> Why that's important, where's Mr. Reardon? It's because in honor of my 60th birthday, I have 60 items here I'd like to cover. <laughs> that's really not true. So first I want to thank you all, the Chamber, Worcester Growth, Worcester Community, everybody that's been a part of this, the Mayor's Office and his team, just the, so many people that helped RBV get to where we are right now. And this award is overall humbling more than anything else. Uh, I've sat out there where you are and watched very worthy recipients come up here. I had no idea what they were up against, but this is just a phenomenal thing that's occurring for us at RBB, and I believe for the community as well. So what we've been doing is trying to grow, not for the purpose of growing, but to make our business more reliable, more robust, and a better service to our clients as well as our team members. And we've, we've worked pretty hard at that, and as you heard, this business has been around for 45 years. That's great in business. So everybody with your MBA, raise your hand if you know that the average life of a business is seven years, right? Unless you're in Worcester. If you're in this area, 45 years is a good start. So that's a great thing and a great place to be. So 1973, here's another little bit of trivia. The company started in 1973. A young man in high school made a field trip to Shreve Probably you were past the desk from a door back then, Ross, but not very far. And what I saw was a 13-pound bright yellow device that was called an electronic canary. And the purpose of this device was to carry it down in the mines so that it would sense noxious gases, toxic gases, and save the miner's life. And that's what they were designing and building it at RBB when my high school class went there to see that. 40 some years ago. So fast forward to president of the company, that's a pretty good cycle and I'm, and I'm pretty grateful for it and I feel very blessed that that has happened. But that's just me. So that's not the company. The company started way back with the founders. When Bruce started in there, uh, I don't know if you maybe had some, some moments, Bruce, when you looked around and wondered if you were headed the right direction, but you were and you've done a great job, done a great job. And no, I'm not wearing a hat, that's his job. <laughs> so, um, what, what makes RB where we, RBB where we are? One simple word, and that's team. And we have a lot of people here from the team tonight, there's a lot of folks that weren't here, but that, to me, is really what makes a business worthwhile. Your team, what you do, the core values we have, the, uh, the core focus that we have all revolves around serving and empowering other people. In fact, that's our purpose, serving others, empowering people. And that applies to our teammates as well as to our clients. We've uh, got a lot of tasks to do in that, as each of you do. We've got accountabilities for every single person that are there we have the culture that rides on everything that we do. And these things are 
critical, but there are every day, the breath we breathe, the work we do, it's in our DNA now. That's our culture. We call it mojo, by the way, short word for culture, and it means more than that. And that's another Bruce invention that we call it mojo instead of culture. So the, the gist of what happens when you're looking in something that's a business that you're trying to take to the next level. So I'm gonna, I promised Bruce I wouldn't talk a lot about him. I lied. <laughs> so what really makes this company different is making tough decisions and following through with them. It happened when three guys got together and decided technology was something that should be in Shreve, Ohio. That was a tough decision that somebody made and made work. Uh, the next big one, and I, I want to give you credit for two in particular. One is to look at a business that was all things to all people and say, we are best at this. There's one thing that we do better here and we do better than others, and we're going to concentrate on that. It was painful and it was difficult, and the transition was a tough road. There's not a business in here, people representing a business in here who have not been in a situation where you made a tough call, you followed through on that, and you saw the result. So I wanna honor all of you for doing that. 820 individuals in here that either did it or know somebody that did it. And you should all give yourselves a round of applause for that. Second decision that really strikes me as an, a new RBB thing, a Bruce thing, is when Bruce decided his faith was so prominent in his work that he had to say something about it. Now, don't get me wrong. Bruce's faith is not a prerequisite to work for RBB. There's no preferential treatment. There's no uh, ads or minuses if you're not in that, but it's a part of him. It's a part of our company now, and the team honors and respects that. I think we have one of the most diverse work groups, teams, that you'll find in our area. And that covers all the bases, covers all the bases. So if we go from there, did I embarrass you too much, boss? No. Okay. <laughs> so I promised you, are you timing me, Doug? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I promised to keep this pretty short. And, and I do have to thank Justin. My wife said, we're gonna have a small, intimate birthday party. 820 is not small and intimate. <laughs> the good news is, Justin's gonna sign the check. So I'm good there. And I, I don't care what Jerry says, you're all right. <laughs> so what does that mean? What have we learned at RBB that I would want to share with you if you ask me, what's good about this? What else can we do? Or, or what would you keep doing to make this better and keep it growing, keep it robust, keep your team alive and doing that. It comes down to really three things. Sell your strengths, but stay humble. You can never assume that it's yours to have, it's yours to get. That's a fine dividing line. Nobody wants to hear somebody that thinks they deserve it, but you have to believe you can do it. Second thing is principles matter. The reason that the folks in this area, the businesses in this area, the organizations in this area are so long lived is because it matters to them what happens after they are gone. It matters to them what happens after they are gone. People that own the businesses, the people that start the businesses, the people in the community, that is unique, unfortunately, to certain areas of the country, and we are fortunate enough to live in one. I have a good friend, and he has this saying, trust your stuff. And he says it, he says it just like this, trust your stuff. He's not talking about the stuff you buy. He's not talking about the things you have. He's not even talking about your, your chutzpah. He's talking about what lives in here. And the days when it's tough and you wonder have you made the right call? Trust your stuff. The days when it's great and you don't think it can get any better, trust your stuff. That's your principles. That's what makes us who we are. 
And the last thing, the third thing on the list, is great teams. Great teams build great results. And I am very, very grateful for the team that we have at RBB. Some of them are represented here today, and they do a great job. Wouldn't be the same group without them. So great, building great teams is more than just your finances or something like that. But if you have a great team, you will build finances. You also build a reputation, and you build something that endures. So if you remember one thing, remember that. Because your stuff, the stuff you trust, is given to each of us. It comes from a special place. Thank you all very much.